I think Susan Frank. I I think Susan Frank is the best. Um, she has got every skill set. Um, some people I've got are really good at certain things. Uh, to include me, um, there are things that um, um, I'm not good at. That I don't know anything Susan's not good at. She is a crazy good recruiter. Um, she is positive 100% of the time. There is zero exception. Uh, it's not, I always say most women like everybody, but um, Susan likes everybody. There is no but with Susan. Um, and um, she is a um, great trainer. She is, if she has a weak link, maybe it's some of the analytical stuff, but her husband, Josh, generally steps in and fills that role for her. But she's also a great builder. And, and um, I, fundamentally, the way she does things, I would tell you, if, if you um, want to know how to do it, just watch her, ask her, and follow her. Because um, the first time I met her in the first company, she was the quickest one I'd ever seen make a million dollars. And um, she's done it again here. She, you know, she was retired here for a long period of time having kids. And she's added about six or $7,000 a week to her paycheck since we're back to life. And then Susan Cameron and the team of ladies, I, I don't want to leave anybody out, but y'all are all doing the same thing. So what we're going to do today, because I'm fully aware at all times that we have some people that have learned a lot. We've had some people that have learned a little bit, and we have some people here that are completely blind to everything. Uh, I cannot see the chat while I'm training, but if Susan or anybody else wants, if somebody sees something important pop in there, um, uh, go ahead and ask it to me. Like, stop me. Don't, And I'll pause a lot because there's no reason to sit here and let me say something and you glaze over and not, and not follow it to the next page. So we are going to cover pay plan. Uh, we're going to go look at things in the back office to see how to see that on real time. Um, and we're going to look at title advancements, how to see if you're about ready to title advance, the chart, all those good kind of things. So let's just begin with um, some basics that I think most people here would know, but you might not. You might just know you need to be ultimate. You might not know there's four business levels. So when a person enters this company, they are buying a business for $29.95. And that business that business is, sorry about that. I had a different people shooting stuff to me. Uh, that business is a home-based business, but it is equivalent to any business that exists on planet Earth. Um, the tax advantages are tremendous. There's actually 157 different tax advantages uh, working from home. You can literally write off a percentage of every bill you have in your house. It, 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 co it coincides with uh, the amount of square foot you have set aside for your office or your business space. I knew that before I built my latest house. So I actually built a 2,000 square foot game room slash training room. Um, so that's fit. Our house, this house is 4,000. So it's that's exactly 50%. So 50% of the house build, 50% uh, of electric bill, 50% of everything that goes out of this house is deductible. Uh, you, um, You've got to be careful when you're part-time. It's probably better to write off gas part-time. Uh, it's it's really good. It's like 60-something cents a mile. You need to track it. There is an app called H Hurdler, H-U-D-L-R. Uh, that app, if you're analytical and don't mind putting in a little data, is the best one out there. Unless you're doing something like QuickBooks, all that stuff's fine too. But, but Hurdler is really, really easy. Once you get it set up, it'll actually run as many businesses as you have. And it'll ask you when you drive or eat or Stay, stay somewhere, you know, is it tied to a business or is it personal? So you can actually categorize it per business. So really, really good. The company will 1099 you on earnings at the end of the year, then you pay taxes from there. Uh, my dad was a CPA for 40 years. And one of the things that really caught my attention when I started this industry 20 years ago, when I was a high school football coach, is the first year we made like 30 something thousand over that 12 months. But he did. We. He did, I, I knew on day one and what I was supposed to do with him. He and I'll tell you how I did it because I'm the least analytical person on planet Earth. If you're analytical, use the apps, use everything else. He told me to go get an American Express Business Platinum. There's lots of cards like that now, uh, but it tracks everything. If I if I spend it, it categorizes it, itemizes it. He said, I don't care if you buy a bottle of water at a gas station, put it on the card. And uh, we've been audited three times. I write off a crazy amount. And uh, every audit we passed with flying colors. So uh, all they want to see is the documentation and how it related to your business. But it's 50% of lodging. Um, actually, it's 100% of lodging. It's 50% of food. And um, we 100% of supplies, which means now then you don't really have to buy computers anymore. 
for personal use, you just need to buy them for your business use or iPads or whatever that may be. So anyway, starting there, because y'all are a fast growing team, if you don't start documenting from day one, when it comes tax time, which seems to come awfully quickly, every it never gets here when they owe you money, but it gets here quickly um, when you owe them money. So you just want to be prepared when that day comes. So $29.95. You then have to achieve at least the activated level by buying or selling 200 points of product. We're y'all are all mainly in the skinny drop system that is accomplished with the four pack. And at that point, you're going to be um, paid 15% new volume bonus. And this is the first learning thing here. New volume bonus is paid in two areas is paid on any body that you personally sponsor as a brand partner, no matter how deep in the organization you place them. If you're the sponsor, for the first 28 days or four Fridays, you'd be paid 15% of anything they buy or sell, anything that moves up through their business up until they achieve ultimate. After the fourth Friday, it's going to switch over and move to base pay. And I'll reiterate that when we get to that area of pay. Um, if you move, buy, sell, however you want to do it, 500 points of product, um, which in our system or y'all system, that would be a 10 pack. Um, then you're going to change that to 20%. So same activity, you're paid 5% more on the transactions. And then if you move, in y'all's case, the 30-pack, doesn't matter that you do a 30-pack, it just matters that you move the equivalent of 1,500 volume points in your first four Fridays in the company. It's not even a month, it's because it depends on what day of the week you join, because the way the computer system has to track it all. It's four Fridays, and if you sign up on a Friday, that is, sadly to say, that is Friday number one. So um, you've got to get to 1,500 points. And when you do, this is the most important part. You unlock two things for life. Number one, you unlock 30% on that same transaction. Now then, when you sign up a brand partner or a customer, it's 30% on the exact same thing that was paying you 15% if you were only activated. Uh, but it also, if you were to get some preferred customers, that means you use the smart link to do it. You would obviously make the retail money, but in addition, the new volume bonus would also kick in there at 30% for the first time it bills. The second time it bills, it's going to throw it to the bottom of your weakest leg in base pay. So I'm going to pause for a minute, uh, Susan or anybody, if you uh, it, just make sure everybody understands that or anybody has a question. Because it is, since this is the only thing that really is there's a time frame on, it, this is something everybody's got to understand thoroughly right out of the chute and train it correctly. And don't forget on your side, you will have to unmute. I think that's great, Todd. And just can you touch just a second? Because we've got, you know, as we we sign up ultimates all the time. So we go into ultimate pretty quickly. We'll talk a little bit about how they continue can continue to get 30% back from booking 10 packs underneath their new brand partners. A lot of, I, I talked to somebody the other day, they had bought 70 boxes and they had never booked a 10 pack under a new market partner, a brand partner. I keep calling it that. Yeah, so what you just saw is the pay plan. And and what Susan just asked for is what we all figured out when we were creating um, the centerized system of growth. So there's two things we want at all times. We want to maximize the pay plan for ourselves. And we want to maximize the pay plan for anybody we bring into the company. So what Susan just said fundamentally is the most important part of this whole system. So when you get your 30 boxes moved through your personal business, you could have had help because what I'm about to tell you, somebody could have helped you. Doesn't always work out that way. You, you can't count on it. Nobody owes you. Um, I always say, you know, network marketing is not for the people that with looking for government handouts. This is something like, this is a chance to go create millions, you, but you got to, you got to take responsibility and hopefully you, you landed in the right spot. You got a good upline and it all worked out and you're getting some things placed on you. Generally speaking, I will tell you, the weaker people seem to get more stuff placed on than the stronger people. I hate that works out that way, but that's, I guess that's just the way the society works. So, and generally they're not as pre, they're, a lot of times you give people all kinds of stuff to include a power leg and they're still not appreciative. I wonder why you don't build their pay leg too, but that's, that's nonetheless, I'm, I'm putting those things out there because you'll hear all that nonsense from people. You got to be prepared when you hear it. Okay, so this is the system. Let me see if I can um, get something here that would. Um, yeah, we're just going to do it off of here on this particular PowerPoint. So when you sponsor somebody and you're ultimate, 
you're tapped out on we if you if you sign anything up through yourself forever and always it's going to what we call auto balance into your weakest leg in base pay translation is it's going to pay you 15 percent anything you ever buy through yourself so if you buy something that's 100 bucks but it's 50 volume points you'll be getting 15 percent of that 50 back in the pay plan the following friday however if you do what Susan just said, once you're ultimate, you then go place your orders on other people's businesses. Um, the computer system in the United States has it built in. It does not in Canada. So if we have some Canadians here, you actually have to get their ID and password and log into their back office to do it. But if you're in the United States, you'll go to the shopping cart, put your tin pack in the shopping cart. On the very next page, it's going to say, uh, customer, myself, uh, um, someone else, or it's going to say a, another brand partner. And all you'll do is type in that brand partner's name and it will identify them and click on them. And when you do that, when you're placing that 10 pack, two things are occurring. Number one, you're putting it on. And by the way, you can only do that on some, if you want to make 30%, you can do it on anybody, but if you it make 15%, but, but if you want to make 30%, it's got to be somebody that you personally sponsored not somebody that's been placed underneath you. It's got to be within their first four Fridays and they must not be ultimate yet. If they're ultimate, uh, two things cut off your 30%, the fourth Friday and or them achieving ultimate, then they'll just go to normal base pay, the 15%. But if you go if, if, in that scenario, they're under four Fridays, they're not ultimate yet. You place that 10 pack order on them, that 500 points associated with it will now come out to you as new volume bonus or 30%. So on a 10 pack that costs $870, since it's 500 points, if you multiply that times 30%, 150 of that's coming back to you in the pay plan. So that 10 pack really only costs uh, 720 plus the shipping and tax to the front door, depending on what state you're in. Florida, that's zero. California, it's your right arm, so, um, like everything else. Uh, and then the second thing is um, um, that person you place it on gets the credit for the points. So if they're sitting there at a thousand points and you placed a 500 point 10 pack on them, then you actually are making them ultimate on that placement. So you're setting them up for success. What I just told you, you've got to train that. Like you cannot assume people know that it's hard to train it in an environment like this because everybody doesn't understand it as well as I do, or maybe people don't communicate well. This is something you want to train every brand new person as you're bringing them in. My suggestion is when you sign somebody up, download boards. I did it yesterday. It wasn't a personal, but uh, there was a lady here cleaning my house. Um, and the person that owns the cleaning company is in the business. So I showed her for her before she left the house. I downloaded boards. Uh, we text back and forth, making sure she knew how to do it. I helped her make her first post. Uh, and then I explained to her, we got to get her ultimate. And when we do, we're going to start putting it on somebody else. That's all I trained her on. Nothing else. That's that's all we went through. So just make that really, really clear with that. And you sometimes have to do it two or three times. Any questions, uh, Susan? The other thing that's occurring by default is you're increasing base pay for everyone too. So I'll reiterate that when we get there. All right, now the auto ship. If you sign up an auto ship, in the sign up process, meaning you're signing up a new brand partner, they pay $29.95, they choose a pack, and you automatically go set the auto ship up. It does not bill. It will bill the first time, the fourth Friday out. Uh, so if they put it in, it's just going to sit there and be ready. If they don't put it in, they just need to put it in before that fourth Friday, because if they don't, they will they will drop that 30% discount down to I don't know if it's 15 or zero. I think it, there's some confusion on that. It always was 15, but something not right there. So, but it will drop. Um, so, so, um, and then you're not eligible for pay that fifth Friday without an auto ship. So it needs to be in there and it's got to be a hundred points or $150. If you have a customer that has zero interest in being paid by the company, they only want to buy and retail product uh, and get the discount. They just need an auto ship of any dollar amount. They could order a Vanali, which is our vitamin C for $38 and like 10 volume points. And that would keep them qualified for their 30% discount. So it's a hundred points. If you want to be paid by the company, your new volume bonus and all others are pay. 
If you just want to keep your 30% discount, it's an auto ship of any kind and a customer counts as long as it is on a qualify on your qualifying week. And that qualifying week is indicated by a circle colored circle at the bottom of your dashboard. And then it'll also show up when you go to check out on the auto ship in my opinion, not in my opinion, it's a fact, the most complicated situation in our back office is our auto ship situation and trust me i yell at them all the time it's supposed to be launching and we for sure are launching our new website the auto ships trying to make everything computer system wise because uh, so much hinges on that uh work globally it's a pretty big undertaking so at the convention or pretty soon after we'll have a whole new uh situation with the auto ship it's supposed to be a thousand times easier to change uh update all those kinds of things any questions? Are you, are you saying that our customers have to have an auto ship to get their 30% off going forward? Not a customer, not a customer. Okay. Okay. A brand partner. So, okay. so if, so you're talking about a, if, so if somebody, a customer is somebody that you have, um, you've sent a, a smart link to through the shopping cart. Why don't I go in there and show y'all this? No, no, I meant actually somebody that I've signed up as a brand partner because we wanted to convert them and they say, yeah, yeah, it looks good. And they paid their $29.95 and now they can shop and get their 30% to keep that. They have to have 100 PV auto ship each month? No, okay. they have to have an auto ship of any number. Does not matter. If that's if they be paid by the company, they it's a 100 point auto ship. To they receive. don't want to be paid. They don't care. They just want their 30%. So discount. to keep the 30%, it's any number. It does not matter. It could be, like I said, it could be a $20 product um, that's reoccurring on that auto ship week. It, it has, it, it, there's no matter what it is. If it's, if there's any auto ship or a customer um, buying from them uh, um, uh, monthly, um, that counts. Any, any of the above count. If they didn't have an auto ship already set up, let's say they signed up like a couple months ago as a brand partner just to get the discount. They did not set up an auto ship. If they set one up now, will they still get that 30% off? Absolutely. Yeah, it never goes okay. away. It can turn okay, so if it's, you want to, as long as they get the auto always. ship, then it's 30% off from there on forward. Yes, but I will tell okay. you the issue in that in that system that, that frustrates me the most is, is if this past the fourth Friday and they never had an auto ship, it's kind of hard to figure out how to set the right week. So sometimes that's better called in than, than done okay. there, or at least call rep services and ask them, make sure you make sure the op rep services tells you what colored week it needs to be set on. And then all they got to do is go place it. Like I said, it can be $22. It does not matter what it is. If all they want is a 30% discount. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. And there is a re the main reason for that isn't to make them pay. The reason is, is, um, we all know how many people come into this system through time around the world. It's kind of a way when an auto ship's inactive for a long period of time, it kind of gives them a way to purge some stuff into a different arena. Um, and they kind of know who's active and who's alive out there and who's not. And, and even if you have a small business, you know what I'm talking about. Some people are doing something and some people aren't. Okay. So if they're do if they have that auto ship and then they're just, they go in one day and they're like, Oh, I just want to buy this today. Are they still getting that 30% off? Um, if, if yes, if they if have it's the just like a yes. purpose. And, and, and actually they don't even have to have an auto ship, but what I'm about to tell you is, is complicated, but it will work. It works on either way, the hundred point or to maintain the 30%. You have one qualifying week every month. If, if you have an auto ship set, it's going to bill on that Friday. But if you, um, go place a random order that week. It, it counts as that order. It doesn't have to be auto ship. So if I went and placed a hundred point order during my qualifying week, boom, I'm qualified for the next four weeks. If I have a 30% and I, and, and, um, and I buy one box of drops on that week or whatever I buy that week, boom, I'm qualified for another four weeks. So it doesn't even have to be set on the reoccurring. But so basically, though, they are having to commit to be buying every single month, correct? Even yes. 20 you PV. Think okay. Think about the question you're asking. That, do I maintain to get my 30%? So, yeah. I mean, the box lasts a month. So if you just buy one box a month um, okay. on yourself, you get the 30%. You just need to buy it on that week. And it will be the fourth Friday from whatever week they bought the first one. 
And you guys, we have something really exciting that Jennifer Campbell did. You know how we started, we just did the Let's Getting Started document for new rep training. Now we have a document that I'll be launching. We'll train on all this next week. It's Let's Get Started Shopping. So this is just all the brand partners that come in for the discount. We're going to show them in a document how to shop, how to set their subscription, and how to get the ongoing savings stuff to, to address that. Another thing to mention, you guys, when you do the subscription, like like Todd showing, Todd, can you just click on subscription manager? Because make sure when you're setting up these subscriptions, you click add to cart below the picture. Because if you go to the picture and then add it from the picture, it's my understanding, Todd, unless this has changed, they're going to bill you today and bill you in four weeks. So that is a huge deal that's been happening that we want to make sure do not click on the picture and then add to cart. Just click straight add to cart. Yeah, that's the reason I said that's the most complicated part, that if they don't have an auto ship and it's past the fourth Friday, it's way better to call it in. That way no no um issues happen like you just mentioned. Yeah, so it, listen, if somebody doesn't understand all this, like this is the, like the pay plan is easy. The business is easy. This is the most complicated part. This system is when they, who, Whoever built this on the IT side did not understand how dumb all of us are when we first begin in this industry. Um, they think we know more than we know. Now, later on, we know it all. But early on, like this is where the person knows zero when it matters the most. Um, rep service is really good at this part. So they can always fix it exactly right, explain things, those kinds of things. Uh, any other questions on that? Okay, we'll come back in there. So let's go now into the easy part. And that's how the money flows. All right. So you got the retail profits. That's you selling skinny drops at whatever price, keeping the difference. You can also do it through smart links, but there's not nearly as much margin to make any money at all. You're going to charge your customers more. Uh, for example, if you charge a customer 176 on a smart link, you get the difference between 176 and 122. So that's $53. Um, so if you buy a 10 pack, and you get, remember, you're getting $150 back in the pay plan. So if you add that in, you're buying a 10 pack for $720. Let's just say it is California. It's $800 front door. So $800 and you sell at $176. You're now making $96 on the same transaction instead of $56. So there's $40 more involved per box um, in that particular, on those numbers. But it's the same at $167, $150. Just gonna be, and it's way, way easier to convert those customers to brand partners. But if you just have somebody and they're in another country, you can't ship products effectively to other countries. Plus other countries have sometimes have different formulas based upon laws. So it's way better to use the smart links in the other countries. Does anybody need an, do we need to do an explanation on smart links? Cause it will be time consuming or you go right into money. Yes. Smart links, please. Okay. All right. So in the office, when you go to the shopping cart, which is that icon right there on your dashboard. We click shop. We go here and we add the 10 pack. Oh no, we're not gonna be doing a 10 pack. We're doing a smart link for one customer. Sorry about that. Uh, we click add to cart. I can't uh, see your screen, Todd. Are you trying to show us a screen? Yeah, can everybody else not see it or is it just Steph? I can I see, can see it. it. I, I can, can see, see it. it. Yeah. Just I, I, I keep two computers up to make sure everything's working. I see it too. So maybe uh, it's on your side. I see it. I see it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. So when you go in here, you, I just added it to cart. So when I, when I go to the cart right here, I click add to cart. I'll go up here to my cart. You can see the smart link there. The very top of that. If I'm just going to, let me just show you both. I'm going to go here to proceed to checkout. The very next page, it says downline brand partner. Put in their ID. That's how I place the order on somebody else, get it shipped to me, and then resell it. But if I'm going to create a smart link, I'm not ever going to touch it. Because I'm in, I'm in there. And when I go in, the very top right there, it says create smart link. When I click on it, name your link. Don't give it someone's name unless they're in another country. If they're in another country, you may want to uh, do it kind of individually. 
But if they're in the United States, just create one box retail skinny drop. Because it this will save and you can use it a million times. All right, so the net, it's going to ask two more questions. First thing it's going to ask is include promo code. I said retail on the smart link, but you do have an option to give away 15% of your profit and give them a 15% discount here. So if you do that, instead of being 176, it's going to drop it 15%, 150 something. But whatever it drops at that 15% is cut out of your retail profit. So you're giving up your money, not the company's money. You can do it if you want to. Uh, maybe make a second one that you're going to give some family or whoever you're going to give that discount to. I will tell you, Europe, because of some laws there, do it almost exclusively via SmartLink. They don't give anybody any, any money off because they can't convert when they start giving all the discounts up front. So up to you, though. It's your business. Uh, and then the so last Todd, one, when, when they do that, I'm sorry to interrupt you. When they do that, if somebody gives them a promo code and then as the customer checks out, if they also select 15% subscription, 15% off to subscribe and save, are they actually getting 30% off? 100% correct. We do not want to do, nobody use the promo code. We're not going to sell like that. Yeah, that's my suggestion, but it's your best friend or, you know what I mean? Just don't just in business, you're basically giving them the same discount. You're not going to make any money. Basically. Well, you make zero. You make nothing. nothing. Yeah, you're going to make no money. So let's not do that. You'll get um, the first month, you'll get 30% of 76 volume points. So you'll make $21 in, in the pay plan, but no retail profit. And this, and the second month, it'll move to 15%. So now you're making about, um, if they did the subscribe and save, you're making about $12 a month. If you don't click the promo code and they click subscribe and save, now you're getting that 15%, which is 15 bucks plus about 12. So now you got like a $22 a month residual income coming up in on everybody that you have on a smart link having a reoccurring customer. But it's still up to you if you want to hide subscribe and save or not. If you're going to include the promo code, I would probably hide it. Otherwise, I, in my opinion, I never give the promo code, but I always leave the subscribe and save because I would, I would love reoccurring customers. I'll give up half my money to have something that keeps billing month over month over month over month. Completely up to you, though. It's your business. Okay, once I make my decisions there, I'm leaving them... Um, just like I just told you, I did not mark the promo code and I'm not hiding the subscribe and save, but they still have to click on it. So I'll either get 30% or a recurring customers. Once you click there, uh, then you have two choices. If you just click that copy button right there, all you got to go is go then go text it via messenger, via uh, text, however you're communicating with that person. And when they receive it, it's like an Amazon purchase. And if you're in a public place, if you've got a boutique, you're at a fair, you can print out that QR code. And when that QR code is scanned, it's going to be that link every time. So if you're at a, a big fair or something and a thousand people scan that QR code, they all thousand would buy this. However you set it up in there. That's it. The only thing since I mentioned that you do have to be aware that you can, the one place you're going to want to use smart links a lot is on the enrollment process. It'll just make your life so much simpler if you'll do that. So I keep my, I keep all my enrollments that I, the way I enroll people set up at all times. So going back to your dashboard, since that we were selling a product, we clicked on shop. But if we're signing somebody up, we have to click on enroll. Click next. It's going to be set up from your back office. So you're going to be defaulted as the personal sponsor. Click next. Here. Um, I would just leave it on default with smart links unless you're just setting up one smart link to send to one person. And if you do know where you want to place them, I'm not going to go into the placement right now because that really takes up time. But if you do want to go into the placement, um, you can click on gra graphic tree or manual and go ahead and choose placement, however you want to do that. But if you leave it on default, it's going to throw it in the, into the placement queue and you'll have 48 hours to go put it exactly where you want to. If you forget to do it, um, then it's going to put it in the in the most maximized place for you to make money. And the way the system works is really simple. It's going to put it on the weakest leg that you're currently building. So if you only have one leg, it's going to automatically put it on the second. But if you only have activity in two legs, it's going to put it on the weaker of the two legs. If you have activity in three legs, it'll put it on the weaker of the three legs. If you have activity in four legs, it'll put it in the weaker of the four legs. It's always going to go, and it's going to always go to the bottom left. Very bottom under every single person there where everybody shares in the volume. That's the default. 
but it doesn't take into account keeping friends with friends, keeping personalities with personalities, all those different things that all of us think through that um, really understand how to maximize this. But when we uh, click confirm here, next, I personally have about five set up at all times. I have one. So and just you can see the different packs. These are some, some packs that are set there, but you can go set it wherever you want. You can do however you want to. Um, but if I'm going to do a, a um, let's just say I'm going to start them with a 10-pack. I click the Add to Cart there. Click Next. All right, so if I have any of their information, I could add it. If I don't have their information, I don't have to add anything. Like I, at this point, the smart link can be created. So if I, if somebody I talk to on the phone, let's just say that the um, the conversion Zoom that um, Steph made yesterday, she had a customer. She sent the conversion Zoom, uh, and that customer said, "I think I want to join. I want to join with the ten pack." Well, then what I do is I not only do I have them saved in my back office, I keep these in a in my notes also. So like I can literally go to my notes in one second and copy and paste right in there. And I send in the 10 pack signup process is set on default. And I can go place it later in the day whenever they get signed up. But all I got to do is create smart link. The, the, the uh, business smart links a little different. It makes you create a uh, name your link. So name it. So you don't get confused on what you're sending them. 10 pack. Sign up. Um, if I wanted to add more product, I can click search product. Uh, if I want to move that to a 30 pack, I obviously contain that to a 30 pack right there. Let's just do that. That way you can see it done. 30 pack sign up. And this would be a separate smart link. So in y'all's case, you would need a four pack, a 10 pack, and a 30 pack. That way you got all three set at all times. You don't have to go fumble around and do it when somebody tells you you want to sign them up. And you just send it to them. And um, you can send it to yourself and not have to go do all this. Like if you've got it, and they get send your their information via text instead of going in your back office or anything. Just go click on the smart link, fill it out. It takes like five seconds to put their information in for them. But generate link. Um, click and then again, same thing. Copy and go paste it. And when you go back now to the to the dashboard, and we go over here under um, smart links, I have a lot of different things. So. This will be confusing. I've been doing it so long. But you can see there, those are all safe smart links. You can see right there, if you um, look at the first one, that's a one-box retail skinny drop. One box of skinny drops, 30-pack sign-up, four-pack business. So just a million different things there that go through that, that I've got saved in there that I can go grab whenever I need to. Excuse me, Todd. How did you load the MOA into the enrollment page? Mine only has like a four pack and a 10 pack as an option. How did you load that in? I don't know that everybody knows how to load in other products when they're enrolling. Yes, that. Okay. So I click add to cart right here. No, Next. no. How did you even get that as an option is what I'm asking. Okay. I, I, I'm showing. Uh oh, where did it go to? Right there. How'd you get that as an option to even do that when you enroll somebody? Correct. Um, we don't have that. I have two options, a four pack and a 10 pack. That's it. Just a second ago. Um, if you other, keep going and you products. hit that create the smart link without putting in that four or 10 pack, or if you've already put that in, it'll say add products right there in <sighs> that spot. Thank you. I know it's here somewhere. So I, not something I go do every day. So let me... It'll say right. search for product. But as the initial landing page right here, does everybody else Correct. have these options? No, okay. that doesn't that doesn't have it. You have to continue forward as if like with no product, if that's not what they want. And then once you get to the part where it says you when you click on create smart link where all the business, you know, where they want to fill in their information, when you go up to the top and click on the smart link, it'll say search for products once you get okay. to that part. Are you no, that about I understand. I mean, like person? initial choices, so you can lead the jury whether it's the ten pack of renew or the ten pack. It of doesn't month. let you. It yes, doesn't let you. Say, I was, was going to say what you're saying is not going to work because they don't. So how did you get that, Todd? Um, those were set up pre this system that okay. I'm looking at right okay. now. Okay. But okay. I thought Thank I saw you. just say go add other product, but I guess. Okay. Um. Yeah, so but she, she, she's I'll familiar get, with the add 
Sorry, I will get ahead. that fixed. I did not realize that. I will get that fixed. Um, I'll get it fixed. I will get a little bitty button on there somewhere that will say add other products uh, that you can go and get into the actual shopping cart. Remind me, if you'll text me, Steph, Monday morning, I'll get that into IT. That's a good pickup. I thought it was there. I don't you guys to I, see I, I personally never start anybody besides a pack you're looking at right now. If it's a man or a woman that doesn't <laughs> want to lose weight, I'll start them with two boxes of mo and two boxes of renew. Why? I ain't talking about none of the products. I didn't even know I got any. Um, um, they're going to learn about that later because if you're talking about other products in the beginning, your business is never going to duplicate and you're not going to get to the big money. Now, if you're just playing with it, you love the products and you're, uh, you're a product person or gal or guy, and you're not interested in building a big business, you can talk about whatever you want to, and, and it's just needed for that, but we need to make it really small where people don't start talking about everything and slow their businesses down. Okay, own it. All right, let me move over here because I know we got 15 minutes left. All right, money. So, so now we're back to base pay. So when you start, you've got your retail profit, you've got your new volume bonus. That's the first two quickest ways you're making money, and that will continue. But this is where life begins to change if you become effective at doing this. There is nobody on planet Earth better at building depth in legs than Susan Franks is. I got her uh, when she knew absolutely nothing. She'd never been a part of the industry. She was a fresh egg with a positive attitude and an amazing dad that had put all kinds of positive affirmations in her. She had a positive girl that said, tell me exactly what to do. And if you want to get rich here, I always say, Depth for dough, width for show. Like you've got to build people. The when you sign up, you got to make money. You may have a spouse that doesn't support you. You got to get a check in your life. You got to retail some product, get some new volume bonus. Like get like get your credit card that you put the drops on, paid off. You know, buy. I, don't, I think Reese, are you here recently? Are you still with us? So I had a girl join named Ashley Antley. She was a nurse about a year and a half ago. And she was not really doing much on the network marketing side other than converting some customers. But she could sell skinny drops in her sleep. I want to say she sells. And this is, I mean, she's one of the girls that we built the board system after because she figured out some things um, that other people had never figured out. But I think she sold 600 boxes in her first like six weeks. And, um, but her husband, was, he runs the largest shrimp company in Florida, hyper analytical, dealing with hundreds of millions of dollars. And he just was not, on board um wasn't like hateful but just you know thought it was a, a, a scheme and the drops were you know uh you know some type of juice that was tricking her like he just didn't believe so but and as she was telling me this along the way and i tell this to everybody it doesn't have to be a male it, I mean, it goes both ways it's whoever didn't see it first and generally speaking one spouse is more open the other's not one's more analytical the other one's not so like it's very normal it's nothing like you're not it's not a bad thing it's just life so so i had told ashley because Ashley was making she'd made at this point about twenty thousand dollars in new volume bonus and retail profits he didn't know that it was going into her account and i said just let me know when the timing is right he lives down here at the beach where i live at about there about an hour and a half down the beach i said just let me know i'll come by his dinner i knew nothing about him and um at all so i did what i'm going to tell you is the secret to this but Ashley called me one day about maybe about six weeks in, seven, eight weeks in, about two months in. And she says, Todd, he's ready to meet. And I said, okay, set the, tell me what night to be there. And so we set up like three days later, I went down to Port St. Joe. Um, but let me back up and tell you how she got him to dinner. They both, she sings, he plays music in the praise and worship band at their church. And on the way to church that morning, they had, they called him and the, the guitar player was out and they were moving him from drums to guitar and he didn't have a good one. And, and he said, man, I've been wanting a new one. And, and um, that Monday, I guess, uh, she bought him like a $2,500 guitar. And he got so mad because they were, they're a quarter million dollar family, but they have five kids and live at the beach, which is exactly paycheck to paycheck down here. And um, so he says, you, she said, I got paid this Friday. And she said, he said, no, she's a nurse. She said, no, you didn't. You got paid. You get paid next Friday. And he said, she said, oh, no, no, no. I got paid from partner co. And she said, he said, well, just how much are you really making? And she showed him the account, and that's what got him to meet that night. So make money. 
But like we now switch into this, and this is where Reese elevated her. Reese is one of the best builders I've ever met because of his analytical. So the very thing that made him not want to do this is what's made him so good because he's not emotional. He's very Todd, analytical. you told my story really good. Sorry, I was doing a training. Uh, course, finish but... it for <laughs> Finish it. No, no, no. You did. You told it great. Yeah. Ashley bought me the guitar. That's what, I was very, very skeptical on that. And when you came over, that's when I saw that, hey, you could actually make money. I'm a business guy. I mean, I'm sitting at my office right now at work. I work 65, 70 hours a week sometimes. Uh, but I always thought I would be uh, I would be working the rest of my life. And finally, I, I saw this the night that Todd showed me this. I looked at him. I said, I can actually retire, man. And that's when it started for us. But this is where, like, I really studied the pay plan. And this is why understanding the pay plan or having somebody in your upline or having somebody, uh, your spouse, understanding that pay plan. I know, you know, like, you know, understanding the analytical side, you don't have to understand it all. But if you have somebody that can help you through this, with this, placing the people, um, how you're running, how you're running your plays when it comes to the money side, you can really, really take advantage of this awesome, awesome pay plan. And Reese, how much have y'all made since y'all joined? <laughs> um, so we were just in, in the first year, just under a year, we did right at six figures between retail sales and the pay plan. The pay plan was around 50000 for, we started in April or actually started in April at the end of the year, it was 50, or 48000 um, for 2023. That's in the pay plan, almost double that for retail sales. Ashley can sell a lot of boxes. I can't, she can um, but this time now the pay plan has just gotten so, so good for us. I mean, our checks has really bumped up. I mean, we're having, you know, just our matching check, which you're going to talk about in a minute is, um, you know, running between 600 and $800 a week now. And we're just only a year and a half, less than a year and a half in. So. Okay. Uh, by the way, because uh, when you do this, like, because I can't always be the one to meet with negative spouses. I just don't have that time in my day, but, um, but meeting with a negative spouse is not about like making them believe it's about building a relationship and, and trust. So that night when I got there, I just started asking Reese questions and he was really, 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 really simple because he's a football guy like me and come to find out he was the radio announcer uh, when I was coaching uh, at a, at one of our biggest rival schools. So we knew all the same people. We knew a lot of the same coaches and um, we taught football for at least an hour to the point that Ashley got mad and she, my, his Ashley said, will you please show him the money? <laughs> but, but I knew if I didn't have, if he didn't trust me, like me just coming and throwing numbers down his throat was going to do no good. So you have to spend time with that person that's not on board and build the relationship. You build the relationship, everything else take care of itself. And it's probably one of the number one skill sets you've got to do here because you're going to deal with it so often, more times than not. Okay. So we're now growing our business. So we're going to start placing people in at least two legs, maybe three, maybe more, but two or three, your choice. And I'm not even going to go into the pros, cons, just two or three. And every time you sign somebody up personally, you're throwing to the bottom of the leg. Don't get in the business of choosing people, especially early on. You'll always be wrong. Don't ever build two legs until later on when you identify a real, real worker. Like the dumbest thing you can do is make people money and they've done nothing. Cause they ain't never going to do nothing if you do that. Um, so you got to build them a power leg, make them one dimensional, give them the best opportunity to start creating income. And then when you get a real leader, then you can put somebody on their pay leg. If um, they're, you know, they're struggling to get their check, you know, survival money, but you're going to be paid 15% unlimited of every leg you ever build, but the biggest. So this particular example shows you 4,800 points in leg one, 4,000 leg two, 2,000 leg three, you multiply 15% on leg two and three, that's $900 in base pay for the week. That will be in addition to, um, that will be in addition to a new volume bonus and any retail profit. Now, this is just another example. All right, so then begins the big money. So our goal in base pay is to get every leg doing 13,334 volume points a week. Now, the reason that's such a weird number is when that's multiplied times 15%, it's going to equal $2,000. So the easier way to teach it early on is to say when you get a base paycheck uh, of $2,000, it's going to trigger 
shares in the 3% global bonus pool, the amount of legs you get uh, in that pool, it's kind of an exponential factor uh, there. So the first two legs are actually a part of what's called the income position bonus pool. So it's you get the $2,000 check, plus you get a $470 bonus for getting it accomplished. The third leg actually switches pools. It moves to what's called the pay line pool. So you can see there when you do a third leg, it's another $2,000 and a $450 bonus. So if you just had three legs optimizing every week, you'd be at $4,000 in base pay and $1,000 in bonus money. You'd be at $5,000 a week with three legs doing it. And Susan Cameron's basically doing that already in the pay plan weekly, not sometimes weekly. Obviously, Susan Frank is and more. You got a fourth leg doing it. It's uh, That's where the exponential factor kicks in. And there's a chart. I think I've got it. Let me just go to the, yeah, there's a chart. So, so that where it says pay line, leg one is actually um, leg three because it's the pay line pool. So you can see there, every one of those legs that optimized would be kicking you another 2000 in base payout. But that is your bonus pool chart that will be kicking in every time you optimize a leg. While that is going on, you've got to qualify for it. But as long as your check is at is, um, $250 or more in base pay, the company will match an additional 15% into your savings account. You'll see your savings account will on the dashboard. It will begin to grow the first time you make a $250 base pay check. When it hits 10000 they will call you, get lots of great recognition. But more importantly, we have one savings account bonus check for the for the month, every fourth Friday. So depending on what week of the month you do that, that what when that Friday rolls around, whatever your paycheck is, you'll have an additional 10,000 in it. That's when they release it to you. And from that point forward, they're going to release it every month. And they're going to match up to $500 a week. So if your base pay is uh, uh, gets big enough that the 15% of that is 500, you'll be getting an extra 500 uh, weekly, and then that will release out as an extra $2,000 on a Friday, every fourth Friday. And then, as Reese mentioned, his matching check. This takes time to build. Generally speaking, you'll see some movement during the first year. The second year, you'll see good movement. At some point between year three and year five, six, seven, it's going to be equal to or greater than base pay. In some cases, way more than base pay. Uh, my my um my upline, um my first generation and my second generation got they got me on a personal sponsor and then they got also the top earner of England uh, or Europe now on, on a personal sponsor. So uh, I know that my personal upline nobody even knows their name. Uh, that he uh, his base pay I mean his matching check now is like thirty thousand a week, and then Tim Sells uh, is I'm on his second generation and his his. Total paycheck is 100000 a week, but about, I'm sorry, 100000 a month, and about 70000 of that is matching check. So how does it work? You've got to be ultimate. This is the main reason to be ultimate. This, this is like 100 times more important than the 30%. If you're ultimate, you unlock the first three generations of matching check for life. You become what's gold, called gold status. Like this is so important, it's just impossible to explain a new person. Reese will tell you, I called him on speakerphone in front of Reese. Uh, but there was a guy bulldozing my yard January a year ago. Uh, I paid his way in. He signed up one lady, Robin Prone, who signed up, Ashley Antley, Krista Williams, a lot of those, a lot of those people. But but he uh, so it's been 18 months. He's nothing else. He has an auto ship and he did go ultimate, but nothing else. He makes it zero base pay, zero savings account, zero new volume bonus. He doesn't know how to retail. But his weekly check, he says he has one low week around six hundred, but outside of that, it's like seven hundred to a to a thousand dollars per week that he's now making a matching check and growing like it ain't even begun yet. That's eighteen months in. So this dude is making four thousand dollars a month because he blows my yard for for three days in a week and and signed up and and led me to one lady. That's all he ever did. So, but if he had to, if he had to win ultimate, he wouldn't be getting paid. That would have actually bumped up, and other people would have been getting that money. The company doesn't keep it; it just it's called um, dynamic compression. If somebody doesn't have an auto ship, everybody just moves up in the in the allotment there. So, generation two becomes generation one for that person. But anybody you personally sponsor for life, you get a fifteen percent match on their check, if, and there is no minimum, and there is no maximum, and there is no breakaway. 
So if they make $100, you'll see a $15 match when you get your check. <laughs> if they make a million dollars five years from now, for that year, you'll see a $150,000 match through that year in your matching check. All right, Todd, honey, we have one minute left. <laughs> These time, this time always goes by so quickly. So what I think we'd love to do, this is all amazing information. When can we schedule our next session to directly go over rank advancement, striking distance, and volume for those that want to dig a little bit deeper into this? You know, now, a lot of people like, are in there are, are some of y'all women like that are... What did you say? So a lot of people are going to want to see that or some of y'all women that are working right now. For sure. I'll just do that on a weekday. I'm out of pocket Monday and Tuesday traveling for some meetings, but next Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, just tell me a time. Perfect. Let's do next Wednesday night. Um, what time's good for you, Todd? Is it better in the late evening or what? what's your thoughts? I'm just running through my head because I have my calendar in front of me. Um, I think Wednesday evening is flexible right now. Just pick a time and let me know. Okay, let's do um, 8 p.m. Eastern. Okay, I'm going to unshare my screen. Okay, awesome. Thanks so much. And you guys, there was one girl that came in my business and loaded it up in a, in a month. I think she recruited like 17 people and she's literally stepped away. And I, me and Susan Frank and the whole team on that line do all the building. I looked at her matching check. I looked to see what my matching check was against her. I think she made $1,200 this week. And she's literally like backed out of the business and does nothing only from bringing these people in. She's she's going to make about four grand a week, almost 50,000 a year just from that. So it is who you know and who they know and who they know and who they know. Like the compounding interest in this business is insane because of all the different ways we get paid. So awesome. Some of you guys are coming to another Zoom. So we're going to jump off of here. Eight o'clock Wednesday night, be here for the next um, part two of Todd's comp plan and back office training. And uh, we're going to go to your link for this next one, Susan. Yeah, Thank you guys. See you there. Who's coming? Appreciate it. Thank Susan, you. Thank right. you so much, Todd. Appreciate Hi, it. Hi, welcome. Are we going to your link, Susan? Yes, going to my link. All right, see you there. Thanks.